Right, I'm going to join in the daily Super Blitz Arena here on Lee Chess and play a handful of games, not sure how many yet. That may well depend on whether I'm playing any good or not. So 17-14, good luck. Oh, I have played a little bit of bullets, so I need to be disciplined and slow my pace down a little. I don't know, why am I listening to some of their oh, I've still got Crusher's stream and I was watching Crusher do a few of his games. Let's just play up. Okay, so I think queen up here, just in case he takes and then knight back I think is alright. If he moves, takes anything, I think I can grab the bishop. Maybe if he plays this way, I've got to take the knight. Because he hits the rook. So lose a knight, gain a bishop. Lose a rook, gain a knight. Lose a bishop, gain a pawn isn't any good. So let's just take. So I'm guessing he's going to go queen side here. So can I push there? I think I can. Yeah, let's release the bishop and push forward. Oh, he takes. Have I walked into something? So takes knight down, back, queen down, surely queen across. Is a good defence. I think I'm okay to grab. If he has to retreat, I can play f6 at some point and kick the knight. Otherwise, I can maybe take around here and open the position up. Yes, yeah, so now we've kicked the knight, so we gain a tempo, so I can push or take. You know what, I like the idea of pushing there again. He's going to have to retreat. Oh, he comes forward. I think that's a mistake. So I'm going to hopefully grab a pawn. Again, this is loose, of course. Now, where do I put my bishop? He's got a check, but I'm not worried about that just yet. Oh, in fact, he's blundered the rook. Yeah, well, that's a good win. <coughs> he played pretty well, though, though for, for his rating for most of that. Well done. Right, 2075, good luck. I think I'll play a Karakhan. Plays forward, okay. Man, if I drop back, he's maybe got bishop up there. You've got to be careful. I've got queen c8, though. The bishop up's playable as well, but I think this is playable. Then drop back if he plays up. So take. Um, hmm. Let's just develop the knight, and then maybe rook across somewhere is playable. Right, let's see if we tempt this and then drop back. Actually, I could go forward, couldn't I? No, that's got to be wrong. It's got to be bad. Just drop the queen back. Right, now I can look to play a knight across. Knight takes, pawn takes, drops the bishop, so rook across first. Here. I guess knight across. I think I'll just play bishop up at the pawn. Right now I'll try and expand. Gives me a backward pawn of course, which could become a real serious liability. Is there a threat there? I don't see it. There might be, but I don't see it. Now 
Now, can I utilize any of this for actual counterplay? Rook up, he's got queen b6, but then maybe queen across. I'm not really creating any actual threat, am I? But I think I can play a queen up. Okay, let's pin that back, Rook, and try and get rid of one of his pieces. So what's he played? Bishop d3. So I'll take. Now that pawn is currently loose, so I'll go here and create another threat. So now it's going to be right to grab this one, right? Ooh, does he get queen down though? He hits my bishop and he threatens to come in. He does. But I get knight back to defend. Ooh, that's sharp, isn't it? That's very sharp. Knight back, bishop up. I take, I think I can take this. So I get an immediate tempo on the queen. Oh, and I drop the bishop. Just complete lapse in concentration. I'd seen it as well. Wow. Of course I'd seen it. Just a complete brainwave. Wow. Okay, this is clearly finished then. You can't afford to lose pieces just like that at this level. Well, at any level really. I'd actually seen it and just had a complete lapse in concentration. These things happen though, not to worry. So again, go up and hit the pawn again. I need to move the queen somewhere and plonk the knight where the queen is again if it's possible. I mean, maybe I can play up here and hit the pawn again. Knight over doesn't actually create anything, does it? Doesn't really create nothing. So let's go back. Oh, wow, look at the clock. I mean, it's silly. I should have gone there and hit the rook as well. Oh, I just blundered it all over the place. Well done. <coughs> just played a very poor game there. These things happen though, not to worry. Right, 13.24, good luck. Oh, is he seriously gone berserk? Well, you give him good marks for being ambitious, nothing wrong with that. And some players, to be fair, as I often say, have very, very quick <coughs> general play. You know, far faster than what I have. It doesn't really matter what your rating is, you can just play quickly. But it's a bit on the ambitious side. Okay, now I can go forward here and then drop back, assuming he won't take. And then I think I'm in time to make space for the bishop. So it's got to be right to go h5 and then drop the knight back. I am blundering a pawn though, aren't I? So I should I sack a piece? So I've actually got queen up here hitting the king. Should I sack it? Hmm. Now it's a little bit on the ambitious side. I'll just let him take the pawn. But now I get the counterplay started. So I guess he'll play up and I can maybe put the bishop back at the knight. I've got knight up here to hit the pawn. Oh, can he play that? Well, he has done. So let's throw in a check. He can't go that way. He has to go that way. But I thought I had bishop up here. Actually, I can just take that, can't I? He can't take back because this hangs. If he takes the bishop, I grab the rook. Okay, so bishop up threatens mate, but knight in hits the bishop and defends. Okay, I'm just going to bail out of that idea and just take, take again. We trades the queen, so that should be good for me. Mm. 
Oh, I've already moved the rook. I can't castle there, so I think I'm just going to castle just so I can release the rooks. So up, knight check. I think everything's okay. Let's hit the knight. So knight up, just hit the pawn. The bishop check's covered. So I can take and grab a pawn. Rook check, get rid of the other rook. So grab the pawn, hit the rook. Okay, so now I'll throw in a check and get rid of the other rook. And what do I want to do? I guess I'll just drop back and get the other rook active. Um, maybe play up and get rid of the bishop. Oh, that's a rook, that's a blunder, that's a bit unfortunate. He's played very, very well, he really has. If he hadn't have gone berserk mode, he would have had some chances here. Now oh, it's fairly straightforward, just run the pawn up. i just got to make sure I don't allow a silly blunder to let him burst through. Okay, so I'll take and take. Now I just abandon that bit just to guard this, make sure he can't actually come through, which he can't now. Excellent, got a good win, but he played very, very well for his rating. Well done. <coughs> very well. <clears throat> I certainly misplayed the opening that game, didn't I? Right, 15.49, good luck. Mm, okay, e3 has become very fashionable, but I'll play a traditional Reti style with c4. So now e3 is a standard move. So now d4, try and just gain some centre ground. Mm, I think I'll play the knight up first. Bishop up. Right now, castle. Okay, I think knight up is all right. Okay, so I've got the option to take if I want. Maybe his bishop's getting trapped here, actually. Cut the bishop's escape path and then look to push. Players up, so hit the bishop. So he takes. So I take. So I can grab the pawn or I can just eliminate a piece. It's got to be right to grab the pawn and then maybe go back. Just going to try and avoid blundering any tactics. There's, there's a nice move, but Queen up protects the knight and puts pressure on the diagonal, allows the knight to drop back. Pawn up is playable. Yeah, so he plays back, but I can just take that, I think. Now, is there any spectacular there? Up, he comes up, bishop up. Queen has to go up. I can grab the knight, or I can play bishop up, and it looks trapped. <coughs> so pawn up, he takes up, but he can just get the second rook, can't he? Yeah, he can just take the second rook, so I won't play that. I'm just going to look to trade that knight. <coughs> well, I'm getting a little bit low on time. Oops, that's not good. Allowing that move. Okay, I'll allow him to win the pawn. <coughs> Oops. Oh, of course, he's um, got a check, so I've got a sidestep first. I'm hitting the pawn as well, of course. So he plays up, so I think just logical development, connect the rooks in the middle. So 
gain some space. I look to eliminate that dangerous bishop. Oops, yeah, take. Now I just want to get this knight active now. I should have maybe considered taking with the knight there, cover all this, but I think takes is fine. Now do I want to worry about this pawn? There's no point in just giving it away, I suppose. Okay, now can I create a threat against that pawn? I think I can, and then jump the knight across. Unless he plays f5, but then his other pawn hangs. So he plays back, so it's got to be right to try and get the knight active. It's not that easy to break through here, so knight over he takes and I take. Actually knight over he can't take because his rook hangs. Oh he's given me a check hasn't he? Yeah he's just given me a tactic there. Discovery on the rook. He may as well take it, he's got no good squares for the king. So now I'll just drop immediately back a clean rook up. I've just got to make sure I don't blunder a back rank mate now. So it's got to be right to trade the queens off. I didn't see it. Bit unfortunate they just didn't see that, not to worry. These things happen, bit unlucky there. <coughs> so they are the leaders. Well that's impressive isn't it? All them games unbeaten. I mean I know it's a GM but all them games unbeaten. Very impressive from the leaders there. Like fifteen eighty nine, good luck. Okay, this time I'll play E three. Keep it still in the very ready tradition. Mm, feels right to take with a B pawn. So I'll play up now. If the queen wanders off, I'll grab the knight. Otherwise, just prepare the castle. Okay. I think I'll just play a knight up. Maybe I should have played an early d4 there. It's still playable though. Okay, queen up, preparing knight to cross. Alright, so I'll just play. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it playable? I think I need rook across first to support the pawn. I mean, it's covered by the knight, but go cautiously. Okay, so if I take, take, feels wrong. Like knight over, and if he takes anything, it's all covered. Now, do I take with a bishop or the knight if he takes? He doesn't take, but he's given me a perfect check now. He can't take with the queen, it has to be the pawn. So, do I want to get rid of the bishop or the knight? Hmm. He's got two bishops, so I'll keep the two bishops as well, I think. And now I'll try and gain a bit of centre ground. So he pushes up and goes for the checkmate threat, logical. So I'll close the diagonal. I've got a bishop that can drop back. If he takes, I might actually take with a bishop here. Otherwise, bishop across is actually a threat because he can't move the pawn. He could play a bishop up, but then I get to trade off. Oh, he's blundered his queen. That's unfortunate. Okay, so now I'll do that move anyway. Just bishop up. Very easily done though, it's very very easily done. Yes, yeah, so and I'll just force something to trade. Ok, 
here. I think centralize the queen, hit the pawn, and then activate the rooks. So I'll hit the bishop first and then maybe double up. Maybe it's sensible just to grab there, take the bishop and pawn for the rook. But I've got queen check as well, of course. Yeah, rook across, so take, take, queen takes. He's then going to connect his rooks up. Surely I'd get one of them off, but I've got queen check. He's really going to go across. You know, I'm just going to minimise the risk and just take it. Just grab. I'm going to get these pawns rolling. I'm hitting other pawns as well, so let's just try and minimise the risk. Okay, plays up. So just calmly drop the queen back. And start the push hopefully. So rook forward, so just push. Okay. I guess I'll throw in a rook check. He's got to be careful about the squares there, because if I get him on the light square, the rook hangs. So let's throw in another check. Let's come up and hit the rook and hit the pawn. If he goes across, it's actually checkmate, so he has to block. So I've got rook check now. I can guarantee trading off. So I'll play that. Hit the pawn, support the pawn. So I think check and just push looks clean enough. He's fought on very, very well. Of course, I mustn't allow silly ideas like this. Considering he blundered a queen, he's played very well on that game on the whole there, so well done. I think I'll just pause there. So what have I had? One, two, three, four wins in that one loss, although I've actually lost rating points, of course. <coughs> okay, I'll play another game. Right, 1686, good luck. I might make this my last game, I'm not sure yet. I'll play another Karakhan. and hit that pawn, hit the rook, okay take, now I'm going to try and get bishop up and just trade off something, um, okay he's got the dangerous diagonal so I'm going to prepare queenside castling just in case, do I want to trade off the bishop for knight, not desperately, He has got a good diagonal, hasn't he? He's got a good diagonal. Okay, let's just play a pawn up. I'd rather stay on the king side, really, given the pressure coming here. So let's drop the queen back. Now, I don't think that's quite right, but I'll just ignore it for now. Take with a pawn if he takes. Okay, well now I will take. So drop back and hit the knight. The bishop is covered by the queen. I just need to find the right moments to unwind here. So he plays queen across targeting the pawn. Okay, so rook across. He takes, I take, he takes. Then maybe bishop back. I think I'm alright, but you never know. Knight forward feels wrong, but I don't see I've got anything better. Hmm. No, I'd better move the rook over just so the king's got options. He plays up. Okay, queen across. I hope I haven't trapped my queen here. Knight in. I 
Okay, I don't mind him actually taking that. Hmm. Let's play knight back so I've got the option to go up if he doesn't take. It's one less piece he can attack with. Again, another one playing very, very well for his rating. He's doing well. Queen up. So knight up hits the bishop, but it feels wrong. Let's bring the queen back. Oh, is he trying to go in like this at some point? I think that's what he's looking at. No, I can't play a bishop there. Right, he's given me knight up, but then he gets queen down, but it's actually covered by my other knight. So knight up's playable to hit the two. If he comes down, I just take. Checkmate threat's covered. <coughs> so what? We're exactly level material, aren't we? Because I won the exchange earlier on. So I'll take. Right, I'm going to have to start quickening it up, though. I've gone a bit slow so far. But the knight covers the important mate square. There's two pieces pressuring the pawn, but I'm just going to look to trade that queen. He pushes. So I should be okay to take. But then what? Then what? Let's just shuffle across for now. Maybe I should have gone there instead, then I could have moved the rook over. Oh, I could have just taken the pawn, what am I doing? It's a free pawn, isn't it? It's a free pawn, but if I take now, he gets a discovered check. So it's no longer a free pawn. So let's just play a holding move. Yeah, I could have grabbed the pawn and moved before, so now I'm going to drop the queen back and... The Emperor Rook across, but this pawn's dangerous though. So he plays up, so I'll just drop back, but I'm giving him potential ideas like this. So I've got to be careful. Goes back, so I'll hit the Queen. So I guess I've got bishop up now and get rid of that knight, maybe. Just simplify the position, which should benefit me. And he's getting very low on time now. So take, grab the pawn, and that'll be another one. So I've done pretty well there. So I've done five wins out of six. I've only played average opponent 16.56, uh, but I think that'll do do for me there. Um, actually, no, I'll play one more. I was going to stop there. I'll play one more game. All right, 13.83. Good luck. I think I'll play Sicilian this game if he goes e4, but he goes with birds opening. I used to reply to that with the very attacking line and sack the pawn, but I've switched now on the whole. <coughs> Let's pin the knight and then look to maybe push. Okay, just push here. So trade. Now is he going to throw g4 forward? If he does, I'll just delay castling. Hmm. Let's play a queen up. But this is definitely a playable move. Well, he's just allowed the knight to jump in now. And if he comes forward, I've got a check. He sees it, so he does well there. So I'll take. No, I don't seem again any benefit taking there, so I'm looking at pushing, but I'm not seeing a lot of benefit to that either. It just feels like it's a better move. Hmm. 
do I want a castle? Not yet. I'm just going to play a pawn up. Maybe knight out wide. Stop that pawn push. Pressure the pawn. I suspect my opponent's going queen side, and I probably will. Yeah, he plays pawn up. So I'm just going to castle now. So, ooh. if that moves, my rook falls, of course. So let's shift the rook. Helps to support the knight dropping back at some point. Oh, I've got to take there. It opens up the diagonal. So now I've got bishop up and he'll have to push. Pressure on the pawn. No, it's got to be right to move the king, then the rook can come and support my pawn. Bishop up, he's got a simple reply. He's got a queen check, I can just block it and trade the queens. I mean, I can pin the queen and trade it now anyway, I suppose. I think I'll do that. <coughs> Again, another one low rated, but he's playing very, very well indeed for his rating. Doing very well. Throws in a check, so I will offer a trade of bishops. Then maybe try and double my rooks up. He comes forward, so I think I'll... What do I want to do? Yeah, I'll double up initially in case he pushes. It might be an idea to try and support my pawn. So he plays king up. So can I push now? He just takes, so I'll push here first. So push and he pushes. I can potentially take and simplify, but I don't like that. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I'm going to play across now and try and get the open file. If he pushes, I'll just have to take a risk and trust that I'm not worse. Again, my gut feeling is to keep this closed. Now maybe rook back and back to this bit. I need the knight in play. How do I do that? I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's play up and trade a rook. I need this knight active, but at least I'm tying his knight down. So I'm going to go forward and bring the king up now. Okay, that's okay for me because it connects. Gets rid of my double pawn. Gives me a pass pawn on this side potentially. He plays a cross. Now that gives me a potential. Take, 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 check, and he can't block. And I think that wins a pawn. So I think that looks good. And if he takes, I get check and I win the knight back. Get rid of his dangerous pawn. He can't just block it. I mustn't pre-move, of course, in case he does block it. So you mustn't pre-move there, but that... Simplifies it greatly. Pressure on the pawn, pressure on the pawn. But I've come up two pawns out of that. So he plays a cross looking for a check, nothing wrong with that. It's a good move. So it might be an idea if I grab there, but I've not got anything better, have I? So I think I'm going to play king forward, and if he comes up, I'll grab this pawn first, then the other. Then I can always sack the rook. So take, so go across here, oh, well now I can step over, yeah he just running out of time isn't he, that's a good win, ok I'll play one more, <coughs> 1740, good luck, you can see we've played once before, I'll try and trade off his bishop. So I'll get rid of that. So I'll kick the knight back. Yeah, I think I'll take. And just look to castle. Now, is it worth trying to trade off his bishop? It might be. It might be. Knight back. Bishop up, bishop up, pawn push. Takes. Yeah. I think I can play this. Mm. 
Now if he pushes I can go back, but his dangerous bishop has gone, so it's a bit safer castling. Obviously he can get a knight forward if he wishes. So where do I put the queen? Let's go here. So pin the knight threatening to grab the pawn. It's going to be awkward to create any chances here though. It's going to be a little bit difficult. I might have to get creative and try and sack. Oh well I can just take there I think. If he takes I can take the knight. So has he got any counter tricks? If his knight moves anywhere I can just grab the queen even if I lose a queen. So gain a pawn first. If he takes I take with a rook. <coughs> I could take with a queen actually and just simplify it. Mm. Yeah, most of the time I take with a rook, but you know what, I'm happy to simplify. Let's go with the queen. So now, of course, I've got pawn forward to keep them, keep my pawn supported, otherwise, I double up. I'm a clean pawn up, I've just got to find a way to build some pressure now. So I think rook up, no not quite, not quite. Let's just calmly shuffle the pawn forward. Okay now I will go forward because there's a target. Now what do I do about that knight? Let's go forward and provoke this and just drop back. Just try and slightly weaken his pawn structure. Now what am I going to do with my rooks? If I undouble them he can then jump onto the file potentially. Well he comes forward. Okay so I can go up now and maybe try and get rid of one of his rooks or get my rooks doubled at the back. So he protects his pawn that's logical. Hmm, it's not that easy this though, it's still not easy. I'm going to just give my king a square. Okay, so I'll drop back. But yeah, it's not that easy this. <coughs> I need to start getting forward, or I'll definitely trade if I can. Anything that I can get off and simplify I think is okay for me. Knight over doesn't quite work. Knight takes pawn takes. Actually, it is playable though. Forces knight takes pawn takes, and how does he defend it? I don't think he does. Oh, he just didn't work it out right. He just didn't work it out right, so that's a good win. So I still haven't got back to 2200 despite another win there. So 1, 2, Five, six, seven wins and one loss, and I've still lost nine rating points. That's a bit odd. <coughs> okay, I'll try one more game then. Oh, keep forgetting to show the leaders. Right, 2069, good luck. Of course, a much tougher game. So just d4. Okay, that's a pawn, I'll take it. He's going all in. I'll grab the bishop. Dare a castle. Dare I castle. Actually, I've got to check, haven't I? Bishop blocks, grab the pawn. Otherwise I've got knight up, he allows it. Grab, bishop in. He's going to take here, but is that necessarily bad? Grab, bishop up. Is my queen trapped there? If I grab the pawn, is that actually trapped? I don't see any squares. It would actually be trapped, wouldn't it? Has I got a square there? I've got a square, but then it gets very, very messy. Yeah, well, let's take it up. Okay, he doesn't even try. 
He might do next move though, so I guess I've got to drop back. I can always give a pawn back by chucking a knight forward and give one of the pawns away. I've won two pawns, so it means I can afford to give them up, but surely just look forward to trade the queens there. It's got to be good for me to trade if I can manage it. So castle. Now how do I get my bishop active? Okay, well he's let me go forward. He's coming in himself, of course. Don't think I can stop that, so I'll just put my knight forward. Okay. Try and expand. I'm a bit low on time though, aren't I? I'm going slow again. Right, he comes up. So I'll take. So have I got queen up now? Looking to trade queens and hit the knight. Do I get really creative? Queen for knight and rook. It's very, very bold, isn't it? A bit too bold, I guess. But I'm not seeing anything better, though. Let's play queen up and see if he takes. He has, of course, got knight check hitting my pawn as well. That's what he goes for now. That's a forced move. So he plays queen over. Oh, he's threatening a knight check, hitting my rook there. So I've got to drop back. Very nasty little threat he had there. But now when his knight moves off, I've got a potential knight somewhere myself. Has he given me a fork? This is such a dangerous threat though, and I've given him queen across, I've just walked into it. What have I done that for? What did I do that for? Okay, let's take. It's almost a checkmate threat, this actually. It's almost a checkmate threat. If he had the queen on the diagonal as well, he had a takes with knight h3 mate threat. He might go all in and just sack now. Oh, why didn't I just take the knight? I just had a free knight. I had a free knight and missed it. Um, obviously, I'd be very... Oh, I blundered the check as well, potentially. Wow, I've got to be focused. Got to be focused. I'm happy for him to take, take, and take, take, and simplify. Let's, okay, he moves over. I'm actually struggling for moves and I'm getting really low on time. That knight is so dangerous. It's actually not easy to shift it. Not easy at all. Oh, look at the clock there. Look at the clock. I've been horrifically slow. Just got literally no time at all. Oops. He's got a back rank mate on he, but I've just gone like a, a tortoise. Yeah, he's done extremely well there. Just got into time trouble. Give him that. Well done. That was a terrible game, wasn't it? I just went far, far, far too slow, but I didn't quicken up, so let's play on a little bit more. There's not actually long left, is there's only eight minutes left. So 1783, good luck. Okay, 
and knight the other game. I'll just look a trade off that bishop. It's exactly the same position. Okay. He gives me a chance to try this. He can't really take with a knight because you just take. Otherwise you're threatening to take, take and take. I think he's realised now. The issue is you just immediately pin and he can't really defend it. I think I'll stop after this game, I might as well. I think I've played enough there. So that's a good win, but only two points again. So I've lost nearly 20 rating points despite having eight wins out of 10. I've lost, obviously, only against two players with higher ratings, but it's really cost me because I've played a lot of lower rated players there, but still not too bad though, not too bad.